This video is about configuring syslog in Commando Marshall C3500 series routing switches. Syslog is a standard for message logging. Syslog messages are generated for whenever an event takes place. For example, when an interface goes down or a port security violation occurs, the syslog protocol sends the clear text message over UDP port 514. This syslog generated large amount of data requires server to be configured to save that much volume of data. So syslog management extract key performance indicators like log data critical for the administrator, DevOps and system analyst to maintain healthy functioning of system and troubleshoot problem and better serving of for the network. So how to limit the messages log? to the log server based on the severity. For that, configure terminal, then login, alarm trap, and enable. Then login, alarm trap, and level we can set this level high, lower, middle. So I want to set it high. To enable uh, writing logs into the file, use the command login to the file. So you can use this login file enable. To set the severity level while writing the logs into file, use the login level file command. Zero means it's an emergency. System is unsuitable. One is alert for immediate action needed. Two is critical, critical conditions. Three uh, parameter is a error, error conditions. Four is warning. Five is notice that normal but significant conditions are observed. Six is informational and seven is a debugging of the messages for different protocols. So login file level is the information specifying a severity level cause message only at that level and numerically lower level to the files. For example, if I say login level file 3. So this will uh, set the user to specify only message of the error level which is level 3 critical alerts and emergency will be logged to these files. So to set the number of logs save in the system file, use the login buffer command. By default, buffer size is 500. Max number of messages that shown on the CLI using login buffer. So I can change that login buffer. Login buffer. Uh, by default, it's 500. You can change to 1000. So this is the max number of at a time will be shown. To set the severity level, use the command login level module debug. We can have these modules like from 0 to 7, I can give the value or I can give severity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. So let's say I want debug. To enable login function uh, to sync, so login sync. To set the timeout that synchronize log from the buffer to the six log file, Default is 360 minutes. You can change as per the choice like login. We'll show the previous command debug and then enter. Then login sync timeout. I can have the timeouts in minutes. By default, it's 360 minutes. You can change to five minutes. To log the operations and use the login operate command so you can operate this login operate enable this command used to send a logger to the remote server so login 
server enable and we can uh, give the IP address of that server to send the log system message and debug output to the remote server. So for that I want to set a remote server login server address any of the address let us say 10.10.10.10 We can also have the syslog facility in which error messages are sent. So login server facility local and we can have local 3 name. To set the severity level while uh, writing logs into the server, use the login server severity command. So we can set the severity also. Login server severity 3. We can uh, configure the system to apply timestamps to debugging messages or system login message this is very important that at what time this event has occurred so by default timestamp format is bsd we can change to other timestamp format login timestamp and we can have this uh, bsd style date style or iso rfc uh, uh, 3164 or rfc 3339 so let us say i want date We can also display the state of login, system login, syslog. So by the by giving the command show login, you will display the all the information, uh, 20 message when the uh, message number is not set, specified, the latest message is displayed on the top. So this is the latest message. So this way almost all the information uh, technology systems like uh, switches, router generates a log which serves as a record for all the activities that system conducted in its operation. Such logs are generated by network infrastructure devices like uh, switches, firewalls, domain name service devices, routers, access points, load balancers and uh, computer platform, servers, applications, smartphone, operating system, Windows, Linux, iOS, and application like client, server, web application, cloud utilities, all generate logs. When major and minor event take place to notify the administrator with the detailed system message, it can store copies of the log message in the RAM or in the remote servers. In an application, the network log is typically a file that contains a record of the event that occurring in the application. So we can have the SMTP, SNMP traps also, which will have a login information for a lot of network activities. It contains the record of the users and processes that access the object or attempt for authentication or any other activity. Generally, an event is categorized as an error, a warning or an informational activity. If this information is useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for your precious time. See you in the next video.